Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Nord here. You can call me Jacob. In today's Destiny 2 build video, I got for you a really fun, fast paced build that can compete in high end content. So, first, you're gonna need the exotic Bond Solipism with this specific role, the Spirit of Synthoseps. And honestly, the second perk is honestly preference, but it does add the cherry on top if you have a really strong perk. Like, for example, I have Spirit of Apophysis. So, when I am done with my super, I actually get my abilities back, get my melee and, and grenade. So, it's super, super nice, especially with this. We are going to be wanting to like and curse everything. It's so good. It kills the target. It's, and it actually nukes. It nukes all the red bars, even yellow bars, it just rips just for the biotic enhancements. And it's so good, and I think you guys will love this. I will leave a hint link down below. Anyway, let's get into the aspect of the build. Alright, so for the first the first fragment, we're going to be wanting to go over here. We're going to be going over the facet of protection. So when you're surrounded by Kabans, you're more resistant to damage. While transcendent, the effect is increased. So when you're a transcendent and you're out there just, you know, light, lightning surging and jolting and nuking everything, you're going to have an increase of damage reduction, which is super good, and you're going to be surviving more often, especially with Devour Proc as well. We're going to be going over that as soon as we're done with the fragment. For the second fragment, we're running on this prismatic build for Warlock. We're running Facet of Dominance. Your Void Grenade weaken targets and your Arc Grenade build targets. So for example, on this Expert Lock Sector that I was doing, I did not have a Overload weapon equipped, but I do have this Fragment, so I can just throw my Storm Nade on the Overload and get a easy stun. And it also works with your Transcendence Nade, so when you throw your Transcendence Grenade, it does weaken the target because it does give that Void effect. It's really, really useful and it's honestly super powerful, so run this for your second fragment on this build. For the third fragment, you want to run Facet of Bravery. Defeating targets with grenade final blows, granting volatile rounds to your void weapons. Right now, I am running Graviton Lance in this gameplay. So when I get grenade final blows, I will be granted pretty much infinite volatile rounds because you're going to be having an up, like a crazy uptime of abilities. Defeating targets with powered melee final blows grants unraveling rounds to your strand weapon. So your call is gonna have infinite unraveling rounds and it's gonna go actually bonkers, it's gonna go nuts. So definitely have facet of bravery on your third fragment for this build. For the fourth slot of fragments, you wanna be running facet of balance. Rapidly defeating targets with light damage grants melee energy. Rapidly defeating targets with darkness damage grants grenade energy. So this goes hand in hand with the call and it also goes hand in hand with your Graviton Lance. So you know you're going to be spamming that Graviton, you're just going to constantly have melee energy. It's so good and you're just going to be lightning surging pretty much all the time. So you're probably, you're most likely going to have the melee up, you know, infinitely. So definitely go with that set of balance on your fourth fragment. For the last fragment that you want, you want facet of purpose so when you pick up an orb of light or an orb of power it grants you restoration because you're going to be wanting to use song of flame for this build song of flame is super powerful and then you pair that with this you're going to be getting restoration on orbs of light so that's really nice so it just keeps the survivability factor up you know you pair that with devour facet of protection you're just going to be just unkillable in these high-end content activities all right let's get into the abilities of this insane build we are going to be using for the aspects we're going to be using lightning surge so keep in mind lightning surge just does call cause jolt so if you want to jolt a overload and you are you know maybe you're feeling uh really ballsy that day you can just go and slide and jolt that overload champion depending on where they are positioned and for our next aspect we are going to be going with feed the void so those are the two aspects we're going to be using and feed the void is grants you devour so you get a plus 200 hp every kill and it also gives you improved grenade energy so you want to keep that in mind as well so those are the two aspects you want to run on this build 
All right, now for the abilities we are going to be using for the Electro Slide build here, we're going to be using Phoenix Dive. Or you, you can use Empress, but for me, I love Phoenix Dive because it is it's the ultimate panic get out of jail free card. So if you are in a tight situation and you do not have any abilities up like Devour or just any grenades or melees up, you can hit your Phoenix Dive and it gets you out of, you know, it, it has gotten me out of a lot of tight situations, especially in like solo flawless runs. So definitely use Phoenix Dive. And for my melee, I am running Arcane Needle. Um, obviously, it's the obvious choice here, right? Because you're gonna be wanting to have the three melees. When you pop Transcendence, you pretty much get full melee energy. And then you're gonna wanna have that paired with Arcane Needle. So definitely use this because it gives you the most benefit. And for the grenade, we are going to be wanting to use Vortex Grenade because I am pairing this with Facet of Dominant and I'm going to be getting weakened targets. So definitely go with the Vortex Grenade. You can use Storm Grenade if you want to for the Jolt, like for example for Overload Champions, but in my honest opinion, I think the Vortex Grenade is the easy outright winner here for this grenade really nice and so definitely go with that all right now let's go over some artifact mods shall we really fast all right for the first artifact mod you want to use you want to use the winning hand so when you have the call whip you do deal solar damage to nearby combatants when you get the kill it does do a little explosion which is really nice this adds on to the benefit of the call which is already super powerful for the next artifact mod for this build, you do want galvanic armor. So when you have a prismatic subclass equipped or an arc one, you incoming damage from combatants is reduced while amplified. You're gonna be amplified a lot with this build, so make sure you have galvanic armor on. Next perk that you want, you want radiant orb. So when you pick up a orb of light, you do become radiant. So you do not have to use anything else. So it's pretty much just a free radiant buff. So make sure you have radiant orbs as well in your artifact mod. For the next artifact mod that you want, you want Chill Crush. So when you are amplified or radiant, your grenade recharges faster and deals increased damage. So make sure you do have that equipped for your last your last artifact mod. Oh, just a little. Just a little side note, you do want Threaded Blast as well. I forgot to mention that. So when you get a Tangle and you destroy your, you destroy the Tangle with the Call, it's kind of like a little mini War Mind Explosion. So I forgot to throw that out there as well. So those are all the Artifact Mods that you want this build. We're going to be going over the Artifact Mods. I do appreciate it if you're still here watching. I hope this build is good for you and it's super fun it's, it might not be the meta build but it is really fun so let's get into the armor mod really fast i appreciate all y'all for sticking around all right for the armor mods here we are going to be going with hands on on my helmet and we're going to be going heavy ammo finder i will have a dim link below so don't worry i'm just going to go over these really fast and for my gauntlets i have heavy handed so I'm gonna be making a lot of orbs when I'm just spamming my lightning surge. And for the chest piece, whatever damage resistance area you're in, if you're getting pelted by void damage, put on void resistance. You know, vice versa, arc, solar, you know, you know, you know the drill. And for the leg piece, I am going with invigoration. I was thinking about going double invigoration, but I do like recuperation, you know, just a little panic or pickup to get my health back. And I'm running void weapon surge for my graviton. And for my Warlock Bond, I am rocking double outreach. So I have more melee energy when I do my Phoenix Dive. And I also have powerful attraction, so I can get those orbs that are nearby as well. And for the weapon loadout, I am rocking the Call with Graviton Lance and Commemoration. These are all gonna synergize with Volatile Rounds and Unraveling Rounds. So make sure you guys have these weapons and armor mods equipped if you made it this far in the video i appreciate you so much make sure to hit that like and subscribe if you're new 
and thanks for watching my videos and hanging out with me and I appreciate it it means the world to me and I hope I catch y'all on the next one hopefully peace